Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to turn on or off a Google Chrome setting. That is the do not track setting. So this basically allows you to send a request to websites that not collect or track your browsing data. So typically, most websites will not actually change their behavior when they receive a do not track request. However, some websites will honor that. Ironically, even enabling do not track requests on your browser is actually a way that they can track you as well. But if you wanted to just turn it off, like the title of this tutorial suggests, I'm going to show you guys how to turn it off, which also can mean turning it on depending how you want to change the setting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the Chrome web browser if it's not already open and select the menu icon up at the top right. Just go ahead and left click on that and go down and select settings. On the left side, you want to select privacy and security. And then on the right side, underneath privacy and security, select the site settings button. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath content and select cookies and site data. And now on this page here, you want to go where it says send a do not track request with your browsing traffic. If you want to toggle that on, you just can click inside that oval to turn it on. So you can even see a little pop up here. It means that a request will be included with your browsing traffic. Any effect depends on whether a website responds to the request and how the request is interpreted. For example, some websites may respond to this request by showing you ads that aren't based on other websites you visited. Many websites will still collect and use your browsing data, for example, to improve security, to provide content, services, ads, and recommendations on their websites, and to generate reporting statistics. So go ahead and select continue on that, and that should turn it on. If you want to turn that off, just toggle to the off position, and that's all you have to do. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do apologize to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.